It's Topic Time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Can you turn your radio down? I did. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We're taking your calls. Uh, we know it was, uh, uh, it was pretty spicy up here this morning. It was. Envy, I was surprised. You got a little heated there. Oh, beige, beige rage. rage. <laughs> beige rage. <laughs> beige rage. <laughs> what you think, mama? But I understand your point. So basically, I want to set some things really quick. Um, but Ebony said, so that's what you said. I can definitely feel the emotionality behind all the comments that Ebony received behind what she said based on her personal preference. Because let's remember, Ayanna asked her what she, who she would date. This was all about who Ebony would date. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were bringing all of their emotions on what a black woman should want from a black man versus, you know, what they actually get from a black man or what their expectations are supposed to be. And I think the real basis behind what she was saying was not that be, working in those bus driver positions or not, and not working in uh, the, the business class, the working class is a bad thing or that people shouldn't accept those things, but more so that you can always be better. It doesn't matter that she had a white fiance and not want, still want the advancement for her people. That's not the point of the conversation. The point of the conversation is you can be okay with being a bus driver. You can also be okay with being a bus driver owner or have the CDL and things like that or whatever, but people have to continue to progress or want to progress. You know, I, coming from my position, for example, I have a mother who want, always wanted better, who always wanted to progress, who came from being a single mother, having to work three jobs, and decided to go to school and get her degrees, and is now making a six-figure income and working for herself and things like that. She actually did divorce a man at one point who was just okay and complacent in being in a working-class position. That doesn't necessarily mean she looked down on him or didn't respect him in his position and his ability to be a provider, but she knew she wanted to continue to level up. She knew that yeah. she wanted to continue to advance to a lifestyle that she wanted, that he was oh, he was okay with not having. You know, and at that point, that's when they became unequal to joke. At that point is when they realized that their major wasn't going to work, you know, and she like said, of course people can be together. Uh -huh. I Thank think you, you got it. No, I, I think you got it. I think she got it as far as, you can't be mad at Ebony for her preference. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what Ebony's overall conversation is, that she wants everybody to realize their full potential. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I just, once again, the only problem I have with it is the wording. You know what I mean? I don't Correct. think that the working class should be referred to as average, mediocre, or typical. And she she said she didn't mean it in that way. She's just right. using words. And that was, that was that was my, my problem. I just I just didn't, you know, she's, she could prefer who she wants to date. She could date who want, marry who she wants. But when I heard that, it just, it just bothered me because I, I know where my parents started from. I know where I started from. Um, and, and she cleared it up. She said she didn't mean it like that. And <clears throat> Hello, who's this? Vicky. Hey, Vicky. Good morning. Talk to us. Good morning. I appreciate Charlemagne's and CJ's and the outlook on essential workers and just life in general. I live in Charleston, South Carolina. 843. That's it. I'm a... Single mother of four. I have three boys and one girl. My two boys are honor roll kids, athletic kids. I did not graduate high school. I take care of my children. Damn. I am a night auditor full time, and I do Uber to make my ends meet. So when Ebony says the things that she says, it's, 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 it's a downer because you're saying that the little things that we do strive and do doesn't matter. No, I get and that's it. not, it's not right. Like, I get it. The only thing I can say is, you know, I don't, I, you know, she said this morning that wasn't her intention. I don't, I don't, if you ever read her book, Bet on Black, I don't think that's her intention. I think she really does want to see, you know, black people prosper. But I think we, you know, we do have to be cognizant of other people's feelings and we got to be cognizant of our language because mm -hmm. words definitely do matter. Right. And, and, I, and I just, I always want to say too that we, it's always open to have a conversation, right? We don't. Right. Everybody doesn't have to agree with each other. I said some things out there that you guys out there don't agree with, and and Charlemagne has said some things, but the, I've never said anything people don't agree. That's with. That's a goddamn lie. 
But uh, we, we should be able to have that conversation at any given point and be able to talk about it and shake hands and give each other hugs after. We should be able to. Weezy and Mandy, y'all still here. Y'all know that, right? Just want to make sure. Oh, I'm, I'm still he- thinking of... Uh, <laughs> I'm here. I ain't going to... I mean, I'm not going to hold you. I... I have some probably un- unpopular takes, which is why I'm going to be I- I'm going to be quiet what, on a lot of things. Sh- no, go ahead. I just I just think even for the callers calling in, like yes, you can try as hard as you can, but I do believe the partner that I have, the friends that I keep around me, I want them to strive to do more than what they are. So I do also have a problem with people that I feel are complacent in just accepting what they're doing and not striving for more. I do think it was said wrong. I think Ebony's delivery could have been much better. And I do think as individuals, once someone is condescending or once you feel attacked, that your ears are not open to listening to what all she's saying. But why do you have a problem with people that feel complacent? Oh, I just said, I ain't dating them and they're not my friends. I don't, I I personally strove my hardest. I did AP courses. I went above and beyond. I could have got one bachelor's degree. Instead, I got two. I'm one of those that continuously wants to climb. The people around me are that way. I personally don't want people around me that are complacent Mm -hmm. in not striving for more. Envy, you got one house, two houses, three houses. You wanted more. Like, you continuously want more for yourself. Charlemagne, you do the same. Wheezy, as my partner, you do the same. Right, people around but, me, but people around me, and I think in what she wants as a partner, it's okay to say, that's not good enough for me. It could be good enough for you. Two things can be true. I do think it was delivery, but unfortunately, I agree, not in her delivery, but in what she said, those aren't the people I want around me, and I want my people, my family, my partners, my friends, mm-hmm. to do better. Well, if I you don't had want four to kids, Mandy, oh. would you be able to do all that you're doing now? Probably good not. Point. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm pro-choice like a mother. I do not want kids <laughs> pull out the vacuum. I want to focus on me. Oh, so I, I ain't out here talking about I'm a single mama. Am I? That I, ain't my story. Before we get canceled, I, I hope I you guys have a permanent guest spot for me. I will say this though. Shout I, out to I, don't, choice. I don't. I don't care what people do if, if they're my friend. I don't care if they're bus drivers, uh, if they work at AT and T, if they are whatever. Same. If they're good people, they're good people. They can and be I, good people. You ain't gonna invite them on your trips because they can't afford to go on the trips with you. I got. Yeah, I got friends that go on my trips. Yeah. I got. I got <laughs> okay. I recently paid for one of my friends got, to come on a trip because he's a hard working ass friend. He's my best friend. He's an amazing person. He's lit as hell. He runs our tour shit. And you know what? At the end of the day, like some people deserve to be gifted. My choices in life, you know, took me somewhere else. Right. But that don't mean I'm leaving them people. No, I'm people always honest. make space for good people. I, mean, good I, think people, that's that's yeah. I think we're missing that in this conversation, yes, regardless people. of what position you're in in life. Professionally Bro. or personally, I'm gonna always find a place for and a that, good and person. That's how I feel. And I just remember being in college, right? Being at Hampton University and everybody going to their business classes and their stock stock classes and being accountant in business and communications and all this. And when they asked me what I'm gonna do, I said I was gonna be a DJ, right? And they all laughed. Oh, this, that, and the other, yada, 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 yada. The people that said, I don't care what you're gonna be, you're a good person, those are still my friends now. Yeah. Still my friends now. They love you for you. They love me for me now. Because they heard you on the ones and twos. That, <laughs> we don't say ones and twos no more. <laughs> but but they, the ones and twos. But, the ones and twos. I ain't gonna lie, I never heard you, DJ. But, okay, what? but they believe they believed in me as a person. That's right. And those people are still around me now. To that that I went to high school to college. And the rest of them dudes are probably I don't know what they're doing now, nor do I care. But I married my best friend who believes in who believes in you, me. You the and most. me both. You know what well, I mean? I, mean, I didn't marry you, well, your girl, your wife, but I married my best I friend. Know what you meant? You know what I mean? I just okay. make sure. <laughs> I just, I, you know, I, if y'all was single, you would marry Charlemagne. He's not, my, he's not my type. He's not your type. He's too oh. short. Oh. If he's not my type, he's, he's he don't short. got a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> he got a vagina. You don't, know, you don't know what I got or what I identify as, sir. <laughs> he said his booty hole brown. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> he got another hole. <laughs> Leave us on a positive note, man. Listen, the positive note is simply this, man. Uh, it's just a little financial advice. Don't go broke trying to look rich. Mm. Act your wage. Ooh, <laughs> right. I, know I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> and and uh, um, final note for me: if you are a good-looking bus driver, that's all I really want. See? Can you it. take me to eat? That's final it. note for me: it's a hot girl summer slide in my DMs. What's up? I'm saying I ain't going back to that. Man. I would no love double back to take over a here. Ride. All right, you well. feel me? But also, wait before we go. Uh uh-uh. uh. Make sure y'all tune into Horrible Decisions every Monday. We are on the Black Effect Network. Hey, hey. we've been with them since day one. That's right. Photo one. Hello, just killed the Black Effect Festival That's in Atlanta. Right. And talk and about we, the tour. I was about to say, and we are going on That's tour. Right. We are going on a 16. 16- 
Looking to add a city, so potentially 17 city tour kicking off in June. We are hitting the Midwest. So if you want to hear about more pee, watch people pee on each other, things like that, <laughs> come to the tour. Gosh. But you ain't going to see it in person, but we're going to talk about it potentially. Uh-huh. Make sure you go to whorehive.com and get your tickets. We're kicking off June 9th in Detroit, followed by Cincinnati, then ending in Chicago that same weekend. So this is June 9th, 10th, and 11th. And again, if you're looking for another podcast and you want to hear us talk about some real stuff, it's Horrible Decisions. Type in whore. We pop up that Everything is not on the list. list we can <laughs> actually say whore so type in whore we pop up it's horrible decisions thank you Charlemagne, for always vouching for us oh, guys, yeah. guys 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 I mean you're starting in the D but you know you're back tomorrow like you act like no, you're signing off forever yeah, right? no no no, no. But, <laughs> like, hey, they got, hey, you're hey, coming back tomorrow they, 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 they want take, we, we tickets to move tomorrow. today I was about to say we gotta sell these tickets oh, I'm not mad at you. thank you <laughs> uh, we'll be back tomorrow um, we, we gonna be behind that wheel on the bus it's the breakfast club bye y'all Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.